Is the new LEGO Land Rover Defender 90 worth the buy? Hi, I'm Trevor and welcome to Brick Hackers. LEGO introduced a new classic Land Rover Defender 90 set along with a short film to celebrate Land Rover's 75th anniversary. The film shows a bright yellow classic Land Rover Defender at the top of a mountain in the Scottish Highlands. The LEGO group transformed it into the hardest to reach LEGO store in the world and challenged two adventurers to navigate a grueling off-road track to reach the summit. Once at the top, they had to build the new Defender 90 set, and the first one done would be crowned the winner. This was a fun film, and I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. Now let's take a look at the set. The set's design is based off the 1983-2016 to Land Rover Defender, and is featured in a sage green body color with a white roof. The icon set, number 10317, is for ages 18 plus and has 2,336 pieces. It measures 12.5 inches long, 6 inches high, and 6 inches wide. I'm a big four-wheeling fan and love the off-road lifestyle, but the first thing I noticed about this set was it wasn't a Jeep. The second thing I noticed was the attention to detail that went into this set. The designer did a great job capturing the look of the Defender and the fun of an off-road rig. This set has multiple build variations, taking it from a mild SUV to a wild off-roader. Features include fully functioning steering, functioning doors and hood, multiple build variations, two different engine options including a V8 and a diesel, three different hood options, working suspension, and realistic interior details. Accessories include spare tires, roof rack with off-road lights, engine snorkel, off-road bumper with working winch, side rails, jerry cans, a toolbox with hand tools, jack, shovel and pickaxe, hammer and axe, fire extinguisher, and traction boards for crossing mud and sand. The Land Rover Defender 90 sells for $240 and will be available on April 4th, 2023. The price seems a little high as compared to other Icon vehicles that are generally around $100 to $200 per set. The Ghostbusters Ecto-1 sells for $240 as well, and if you view the Titanic as a vehicle, well, then that blows them all away at $680. But with the extra parts needed for the build variations, I guess you could justify the extra $40. Keep in mind there are licensing fees with some of these Icon sets, so you will see a bit of a price hike, just like the Disney, Star Wars, and DC sets. If you look at a non-licensed set, such as the Galaxy Explorer, it sells for $100 and has 1,254 pieces, which is a little more than half the piece count of the Defender 90. While I don't like calculating costs based on piece count, it does seem to be in line with the other Icon's vehicles. Overall, this set looks great and it's in line with other set pricing. As a car guy and an off-road enthusiast, I'm probably going to have to pick this set up and add to my collection. But what do you think? Do you like the set? Are you going to get it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and giving it a like. It really helps out the channel. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one.